Hello, all my duders and dudettes. I'm Mark Daniel Nelson here with Make My Music. Today, I'm going to be mixing a hip-hop track by the group Accent. The song is called I'm Home, and I'm going to just dive in with the mix. I've done a handful of videos about my template already and how I set up certain sessions. I'm just going to jump right in and mix it. So let's go. I'll do a real quick brief overview of this just so I can get people that haven't seen the other template videos in line with it. So when I set up my session, I like to keep all these separate elements flowing into their own buses. So when I end up mixing it, I have control over 12 to 14 stereo buses. This allows me to move around really fast, but mainly it just gives me control so I don't have to click through all these different levels and I don't have to touch the faders as much over here on the D command. I will just show you my groups. Now, usually I start with drums. The 808, even though it is a percussion element, I'm gonna treat it as a bass element. So that goes into my bass chain and then my keyboards and then synth bass because there's a lot of synth bass on this track. And then um, some of the normal synth stuff, the lead synth and stuff that's like called synth horns, which is kind of more lead stuff. And those go into their own buses. Falls down to uh, the vocals and the background vocals. But you can see here that my main guy and falls down and then they keep falling down along the line. So it goes verse, pre-chorus, chorus, hook. Now the top line of this is doubled, I believe. And there is a harmony on that, as you can see down here. So I'm going to just follow through with this on the same bus and then throw the backgrounds into their own guy. We're going to listen to the ref real fast, just for a minute, just to kind of size us up and see where we're at. Passing through, don't ever leave us open. Tag team to Court Williams at the US Open. Married to the game, and buddy, you elope. Don't understand the fear, that's a new emotion. I took the high road, you live that low life. You could have came with, but we know you chose sacks. We ride road tight, addicted to the wind. We never give it up, we only get it in. One time for the city that saved my life. One time for What do I hear? It's a great song, it's a really good song, but I'm not hearing the emotion come out of it correctly. I need more low end. I need more transient. I need more space. I need to be smothered like a big hug. That's what I feel like listening to this track. Um, the reference is great. But I just, I really feel like it's missing the space and the overall character. So that's what I'm going to go for. So let's kind of start with the kick. This is a standardized kick track that has a little bit of harmonic content in it. But I feel like it doesn't have enough low end. So I'm going to right away add that fundamental point. Now I hear it around 40, but I don't like what the EQ is doing. So I'm going to add an R bass instead and then see if I can get it out of that. Because the cool thing about the R bass is it's not necessarily additive low end as much as it is hyper. Um, it's almost like an illusion. And that helps you kind of hear low end stuff on smaller Bluetooth speakers and systems that don't have like laptops and stuff. So... I'm gonna go listen to this real quick. Already I can tell I probably want this more. Now the reason why I like this better is because it's just sounding a little more natural is probably the best way. So once I get that in, I'm gonna just maybe put a little point on it. Kind of want it to be like a knocking of a door. So without. That's my low end foundation. 
I know I'm going to end up doing this later on, so I'm going to clone this track, turn it off for right now, and I'll leave the EQ on, but instead I will put a slate trigger on this track. I will pull a sample that I know has some unbelievable ton of low end. Real listen to it real fast. Right there. And these are just kind of marching drum samples, but underneath it, when I need it, it will bloom the kick even more. So right now, I don't need it for right now, but it's there. Let's move to the snare. I already know what the reverb I want. I want a kind of a 250 kind of spatial reverb. I believe this is an 808. Hear what it sounds like. I do want a little transient attack on it. So I'm going to put some of that to get a little snap out of it. Um, this is the soft tube transient attack. Sounds pretty different than the transient designer and the trans X. And the cool thing about this one, it adds a couple things. I like the clip element and the speed thing. I'll just use the punch on this just a little bit and a little tighter like that. So it's a little more flicky. And then when I read the reverb, it's a little prettier. So let's hear it with the kick. Now everything is coming down. I talked about this, that the way I have things set up, they're all grouped in instruments. They're sent to the stereos. So if you go through it and then go to my stereo buses, they go drums, percussion, all the way down the line of the vocals. And now this falls down to my master, past my reverbs. As you see, I have all my reverbs here. But in my master, I have a couple of things in my chain that I will bring in eventually. But right now, I'm going to leave it in. But I'm going to play it for a second and look at my main mix and see where I'm at. And I want to be just above eight, just between four and eight on my transient hits. So when I add the bass element and the vocal, it's going to actually set really good. That seems like we're pretty good there. Let's pull in the hi-hats and see what we got here before we start adding anything else. So there's a snare accent too. So I, what I want to do there is put a little small room that 480 on it. And let's find that spot again right here. That sounds cool. I'd like to actually put a little gate on that reverb. So this is that 480 reverb that I sent out to people. Uh, it's just really unique and it sounds great. Now when you put a little gate on it, um, it actually makes it sound even more unique. Let's try, I believe there's a snare setting that I can start, classic gate. See how now it's not as mono, it spreads out the snares a little wider and it makes it sound a little more exciting. Now if I take that out completely, no reverb, you can't really hear it. So you add this and it sets it behind it and spreads it out. Now let me look at the actual two channel. I'm gonna pull up this Poltec doesn't need a terrible amount more top end, maybe a little more bass. Tiny bit. You know, I do, I'm going to leave this in. I'm going to pull up the vitamin plugin. Now this is a real, I'm going to use this a lot. It's really cool. It's really unique. 
I haven't used it on any other videos before because I use it usually on three or four different styles of music and a lot on hip hop. It's a stereo spreading, harmonic enhancing, multi-band barrel of goodies. So let's just try it. What I hear on this though is I want a little more depth from the drums. They feel like they're right now not necessarily, they just kind of feel flat. Now it puts it really hard without, with. Let's pull in the 808. All right, right away you can tell what's going on here. The kick is big and blooming, but the 808 is now masking things. Now you want them to kind of do their own thing separately while retaining the size and the hugeness of it. What I like to do is put a side chain on the bass, which would be the 808. You can just use this kind of easy bomb factory. Set a key, drum bus kick. And then on the kick itself, I'll pull that up. And what that's gonna do is every time the kick hits, the 808's gonna duck just a little bit, which lets the bass come through even more. And it'll actually hit the speaker a lot harder. And the 808 will go around it. So when the kick is up, the bass will come up. Here's with it off. Here's with it on. Do you hear the attack on the kick now is punching through a little better? Focus on the kick drum. The next thing is going to probably be these synths and hear what we got here. There's not a ton going on. This sounds like this is one of the main synths in the track. And in fact, I'm probably going to go and pull the vitamin on this guy and see what I can do to get it to spread just a little bit more. Without. So that's going to spread everything away from the 808 and the drums. Let's pull these whole synth tracks in. Leave the piano out and put the drums in. I don't like to do a lot of uh, stereo width on the master. I feel that it kind of messes with a lot of the overall character of the mix. So I usually, if I'm going to do a lot of stereo width stuff, it's going to be inside the track. That way the bass and the drums, specifically the kick and snare, can stay center and focus in the vocals and it doesn't mess up little things. I've heard weird stuff with stereo spreaders on the master where it's taken like sibilants and vocal weird textures and thrown it to the weird sides and it's add flams and it's just been a lot of weird stuff. So if you kind of attack it from the inside versus waiting to the end and just adding it on your master chain, 
you're going to actually get a lot out of that. Let's focus a little more right now on where we're at as the bedding, because this would be considered the bedding, in my opinion, of the mix. It just sounds like this is the overall kind of presentation before we start adding little bills, little lead synths, and definitely the vocals. I would say now you can end up bringing in the two bus. So my two bus is the ATR. I'm gonna bring in that 550 EQ. A little top end and a little bottom at 50. Next thing I'm gonna do is bring in my master compressor. Now for hip hop, I really do like the Shadow Hills. I feel that it adds enough punch and a little bit of cream on it that's different than what I traditionally use on rock or Americana or anything like that. The reason why Salad State sounds good in hip hop for me is because it adds all the punch. Now, it retains all the low end and stuff like that, but you're just getting a lot of the punch. And sometimes when you're putting in a tube circuit on the master, it kind of softens things a little bit to the point where it doesn't add the excitement that you're needing. Hip hop's very different where you want it to be exciting, you want it to be energized. So I'm gonna take a little bit of liberty here and there, probably add a little more distortion, a little more top end than I normally do, because that's what it calls for. So I'm gonna pull this in, I'm gonna show you this. I'll probably share this preset, because this is pretty much my main hip hop bus compressor, and I usually set it relatively the same. I just adjust the threshold so it's hitting about a dB, and I'll go in and out. Just with it in. See, if you hit it really hard, you can really quickly tell that it's just falling apart. If you barely tap it, Even come back a little bit on the optical gain. Off. On. Off. On. Now for the piano, this is the intro of the song. This is kind of the... the the solo instrument you would use if it was a vocal and opening instrument. So for this, I'm probably not gonna do a ton. I will do a little parallel though. Now it was given to me it's sounding like this. So they were already doing quite a bit of work on it to make it sound a little more, not necessarily lo-fi, but a little more grungy sounding. So I'm gonna just influence the mid-range a little bit and see if it can have a little more poke out of that. So with this guy, I will just pull a parallel. I probably won't even touch anything else, to be honest. On this, I usually use the TG12345. This allows me to get my mid-range and the compression that I actually really like. For some reason, this sounds a lot better to me than a lot of the other counterparts that are doing roughly the same thing. For a piano kind of upward compression, New York style compression, it really does work really, really well.
this is where I'm going to start listening to the ref. And even though the ref has vocals in it, I'm actually going to just check and see what the low end's doing and how they heard it and what the kick and stuff are doing. Don't ever leave us open. Tag team to Court Williams at the U. But sustain defeat. That's a new emotion. I took the high. Need a little more punch on that kick. In fact, I'm going to actually put the transient on this sucker too. This will give me a little more attack without adding too much phase issues. There we go. Let's pull it a little delay on the piano. With. With the track. I don't want to hear those hangovers, so what I'll do is I'll automate that. I just want it gone by the time it's into the verse again. Take them out. Let's add a little cool thing, a long reverb to shoot that into the verse. So. Let's go up into my long reverb, which is my fab filter, and I will automate this guy to come up right at the end of this. So it shoots it. Make it a little more aggressive. So it adds a little more space on that. Just it's a little trick here and there. So what this is doing is it's just taking selected bands and spreading them out versus the entire low, mid, super high frequency. Maybe it's just taking the the mid and high mids and spreading those out, which is giving pockets to a lot of other things. Now this is in and without. Let's put some reverb on this too. I wanna to hear what the Abbey Road plate sounds like on this. Never use enough reverb on the snare. Let's check the reference. Full speed ahead, I swear they'll never stop me. I got so much ice. Little high frequency bump on. Now that will open up the snare too. another lead synth. Now there's another lead instrument in here, they call it the synth horn. 
And this one's going to have a little more focus. So everything else right now, there's the bass and the kick and the snare, and there's a lot of synth elements, and the piano is kind of right here in the center, maybe around 9, a little higher, maybe 10 and 2. And the synths are wide. So we need like certain spot elements that will allow things to seem a little more defined because if you start only filling in the wide pockets and the center, the vocals start falling apart. They just don't glue the same. So I'm going to start using these synth horns as those little spot things. So I'm going to focus on those right now. Start placing them in the stereo spectrum. Let's try it again. Put a little edge on this. Without, with, now you're getting a little more of the thrust in the, the attack of these elements. And I want to hear what the reverb sounds like with it. Now this is the seventh heaven reverb. here with the track. This is the ARP track that's playing with it, but what you're hearing is the Seventh Heaven Reaver with it. So I'm going to try another widening thing. This guy's an old guy, the S1 Waves, but it sounds great and it works really good with um, specific things like an ARP. And the reason why I use it differently than the Vitamin is because the vitamin, you're going after specific elements. This one, you're just kind of taking it and slowly adjusting where you want it. The cool thing about this guy is you can shift it in the stereo field and you can kind of transform it and widen it. And it just affects the signal itself. And then with it. And you don't want to need it too much. But I'm going to shift it just a little bit to the left. So without. With. In. That 
sounds like The Cure. It's funny. It reminds me of The Cure and uh, the music that was in the end of Pretty in Pink. I'm also going to put a little bit of Smooth Soothe 2 plug-in on this to kind of tame some of the top stuff because I feel like it's just still a little aggressive. Let's listen to it with it on. So that's with it now. I think it's time for the vocal. Now I'm going to, like I said, treat the entire vocal as one element. I'm going to first follow the, the actual verse raps, and then I'll go over the chorus and the top line and the ad-libs. But mainly it's going to be all treated at the same spot, which is my stereo. Came to Court Williams at the U.S. Open. Married to the game and buddy you elope. Don't understand defeat. That's a new emotion. I took the high road. You lived that low life. You could have came with, but we know you chose sass. Don't ever leave us open. Tag. Atticus is sleeping. Don't ever leave us open. Tag team to Court Williams at the U.S. Open. Now, I'm focusing on the S's specifically and seeing where it's the most aggressive. Now, also using this guy, instead of using the point filter findings, I'm opening it up to the top band. Okay, found it. Put that back in. Don't ever leave a soap. Tag team to Court Williams at the U.S. Open. Without Mary T. Don't ever leave a soap. Tag team to Court Williams at the U.S. Open. Back it off, the 10% rule. When you think it's right, you back it off 10%. That will save you. You can always add it later. Don't understand defeat. That's a new emotion. I took the high road. You lived that low life. You could have came with, but we know you chose sass. We ride road tight, addicted to the wind. We never give it up. We only get it in. Don't ever leave us open. Tag team to Court Williams at the U.S. Open. I took the high road. You live that low life. You could have came with, but we know you chose sass. We ride road tight, addicted to the wind. We never give it up. We only get it in. Don't ever leave us open. Tag team to Court Williams at the U.S. Open. Married to the game and buddy you elope. Don't understand defeat. That's a new emotion. I took the high road. You lived that low life. You could have came with, but we know you can. So the Don't ever dollar leave us plate. Open. Tag team to Court Williams at the U.S. Open. Married to the game and buddy you elope. Don't understand defeat. That's a new emotion. I took the high road. You lived that low life. You could have came with, but we know you chose sass. We ride road tight, addicted to the wind. We never give it up. We only get it in. Don't ever leave us open. Tag team to Court Williams at the U.S. Open. Married to the game and buddy you elope. Don't understand defeat. That's a new emotion. I took the high road. You lived that low life. You could have came with, but we know you chose sass. We ride road tight, addicted to the wind. We never give it up. We only get it in. I like that. Don't ever leave us open. Tag team to court with. Still has a smidgen, just a little bit of harshness at the top. So I'm going to end up pulling that soothe again on the vocal. Don't ever leave us open. Tag team to Court Williams at the U.S. Open. Married to the game and buddy you elope. Don't understand defeat. That's a new emotion. I took the high road. You lived that low life. You could have came with, but we know you chose sass. We ride road tight. Let's pull the track in. The Don't ever leave us open. Tag team to Court Williams at the U.S. Open. Married to the game. Buddy, you elope, don't understand That's the, the reference. That's a new emotion. I took the high road. You live that low life. You could have came with, but we know you chose Track. sass. We ride road tight, addicted to the wind. We never give it up. We only get it in. One time for the city. Don't ever leave us open. Tag team to Court Williams at the U.S. Open. 
married to the game And buddy, you a low, but don't understand the fee That's a new emotion I took the high road, you lived that low life You could've came with, but we know you chose sides We ride road tight, addicted to the wind We never give it up, we only get it in One time, don't ever leave us open Tag team to Court Williams at the U.S. The elements you're hearing on this is pretty simple. The top of the vocal, the top of the snare, the top end of the hi-hats. Those are all going to be relatively the same. So if you're going to add overall gain top end on your master, it will all open up. Think about that. When you're putting a mix together, kind of find different elements and understand what is keepers. I'm going to just put a tiny bit of limiting, and this will help me, like I said in the last video, this will help me protect myself for if it hits mastering and I don't like what they're doing. Usually this is what it helps me protect my master. So when I send it in, I will just drop it 3 dB. It's not going to compress much, but at least it's hitting and cutting off the transients and getting the transients set for where I need it for when it does hit the limiter hard. Don't ever leave us open. Tag team to Court Williams at the US Open. Married to the game, and buddy you a low, but don't understand the fee. That's a new emotion. I took the high road, you live that low life. I wanna hear a little bit of delay on this. Saved my life one time for the people that paid that price. Paved the way, got me living my life, my life, eh. Saved my life one time for the people that paid that price. Paved the way, got me living my life, my life. Get it in. One time for the city that saved my life. One time for the people that paid that price. Paved the way, got me living my life, my life. The city that saved my life One time for the people that paid that price One time for the city that saved my life One time for the One time for the city that saved my life One time for the people that One time for the city that saved my life One time One time So I'm gonna just pull this up As an eighth note Delay And then Pull it up here. It's in my template as an eighth delay. And then I will open up the preset. And we can take a peek at this. My life one time for the people that paid that price. My life one time for the people that paid that price. Paved the way, got me living my life. My life. So what that's going to do, first half of the chorus is going to be a monovocal, delay is left and right. And then the second half is stereo vocals, delay mono. One time for the city that saved my life, one time for the people that paid that price. Paved the way, got me living my life, my life.
let's go over the tag. I want to make that a little different than the last course and different than the verse. And how to do that, I'm wondering if it would be best to affect it in a way that there's some kind of micro shifter on it or crystallizer or something to make it a little more unique. I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. I like that. Too long. I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. Let's do a little delay on this guy too. Oh. Things are coming together nice. The vocals sound good. The bass, drums, everything's starting to get its space. I feel that the vocal needs a little more short reverb. And for that, I think it needs the 250. And I think that will end up creating the small little reverb space that I need, the edge I need to get on this. Because I feel like right now it's still a little too kind of pretty and flat and I think I can add a little more edge by pulling in the, the small reverb and the 250 would be a perfect candidate for that. I left the fakes behind me, let the bridges burn, full speed ahead, I swear they'll never stop me. I got so much ice, I swear I'm playing hockey. I'm the champion, and this the death of Rocky. I'm from the land of savages, and they all cocky. I'll never stop it. I keep on living, homie. Ask about me in the streets. Everybody know me. I left the fakes behind me. Let the bridges burn. Full speed ahead. I swear they'll never stop me. I got so much ice. I swear I'm playing. Let's hear the track. The fakes me. Let the bridges burn. Full speed ahead. I swear they'll never stop me. I so the cool thing about what that's doing is it's not adding like any kind of element that's creating tension it's filling a hole in the high frequencies around the hi-hat the s's of the vocals are triggering the small room reverb and it's with the pre-delay echoing a little bit and it's adding a little more sprinkles so listen to that and listen to the top end of the vocal i left the fakes behind me let the bridges burn full speed ahead i swear they'll never stop me i got so much ice i swear i'm playing hockey I'm the champion, and this the death of Rocky. I'm from the land of savages, and they all cocky. I'll never stop it. I keep on living, homie. Ask about me in the streets, everybody know. One time for the city that saved my life. One time for the people that paid that price. Paper way got me living my life. My life. Now the Abbey Road reverb I'm using on that is this setting. It's very similar to the setting I sent out before. And it's just set up 
real easily. The pre-delay is probably the main thing. I need a little more attack on the kick. An expander, so I can hyper focus on 970 hertz and it expands it. Life one time for the people that paid that price. Paved the way, got me living my life. My life. Hey. So, going back to the sub thing that I was talking about making the triggers, I only want it on the verses and the hits of the choruses. So, I'm going to drag this trigger all the way down to the vocal so I can actually see. That's without it. Here's with it. Let's check the phase on this. Okay, so this is good. You see us passing through, don't ever leave us open. Tag team to Court Williams at the US Open. Married to the game, and buddy, you elope. Don't understand the feet, that's a new emotion. I took the high road, you live that low life. You could have came with, but we know you chose sides. We ride road tight, addicted to the win. We never give it up, we only get it in. One time for the city that saved my life. One time for the people that paid that price. Paved the way, got me living my life. I think that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to just play it through at the end and just kind of make sure I can tighten anything up. But in general, what I did was I chose elements that I needed to express more. So I, I reached out for low end and high, high top end. So low end like bass, sub stuff, kick, and then top high stuff as in like percussive stuff, high hats, snares, and made sure that these were all equal. And what that does is it makes it all tighten up. So like literally, like I said, if you wanted to add top end of it, it's going to pull everything out versus it just adding little things. I'm going to print this now and let's take a listen to what it sounds like as a mix. Thank you. 